Welcome everybody to another episode of Simplifying Modern Technologies with Question Information Seminar with Question and Answers. Once again, we're not selling anything, nobody's getting paid, no financial kickbacks or sponsorship, we don't have no brand promotion, everything in this thing is just for information purposes only. Okay, today we're going to be covering reversing cameras and rear cameras. There's a lot of confusion about how and what and so forth about the reverse camera and rear view cameras. First of all, make sure you always read your instruction manual, all the pages, because it tells you all the details about your Pacific camera. Just keep in mind that with some cameras, you may need to get a cam filter, which is basically like a relay, because sometimes uh, a lot of these cameras, they need power from your reversing lights, if you're going to get a reversing camera, and a lot of um, cars, especially the newer cars, the last 10, 20 years or so, They've got low powered lighting, therefore they don't necessarily have enough power, not the voltage, but power behind the um, light to actually power both a light bulb or your LED in your reversing light, as well as a camera. On this slide you'll see we have four um, icons here. We have on the top left, which are little uh, batteries, which you usually find in your watch or in very small remote controls to the top right hand side you'll see 1.5 volt batteries whether it be triple a's or double a's on the bottom left we see a car battery now the thing is all these three things they're all up to 12 volts see these um, little pencil batteries you see on the um, top left they're three volts each each one of those batteries is three volts so if you have four of them, that equals 12 volts. Now, you wouldn't expect four of those little batteries to power up your car, would you? Likewise, when you've got eight 1.5 volt batteries that you put in your remote control, you wouldn't expect that to power up your car. Like when you turn your ignition in your key in your ignition, you wouldn't expect those four 3 volt batteries, which adds up to 12 volts, or the eight 1.5 volt batteries adds up to 12 volts to start up a car engine to turn the motor in the engine of your car whether it be a four cylinder or an eight cylinder car or a six cylinder car these batteries doesn't have the energy to power it up but however a car battery will likewise you see on the bottom right hand side you see a light bulb now you can light them up with just a couple of 1.5 volt batteries however if you put a car battery connected to that light bulb you'll blow it up that light bulb is, wouldn't be able to take all the power that the car battery is going to give it so even though they're all 12 volt devices because these would be a, this is a 12 volt globe it would not be able to take the 12 volts of a car battery because the power is too big so we have voltage but then there's power behind the voltage. It's the power we're looking at, not necessarily the voltage. So if you have 12 volts at your reverse camera, it may be 12 volts, but it doesn't have the power behind it. So it might not be, so it won't be able to power both your reversing camera or rear view camera and your reversing light. It's just not enough power because the power is designed in most new cars, only to power up that low powered LED light at the back of your car. Because a lot of these days, a lot of the cars is trying to conserve power, so everything is low powered. So that's why you need something with more power, which is power coming from the car battery, to power up your reversing camera as well as your reversing light. So what you'll do then, is you put a CAN bus into your reversing light system. Now, once again, read the instruction manual. You can research it online, but you can have a look how to install a CAN bus. But basically, you're, you're going to have it like a relay switch, like when you turn on the light switch in your house. When you turn on the ignition in your car, and then you put your car into reverse, so you cut your car into accessories, or you got your car turned on, whatever it may be, you put your car into reverse, then the pow little power that goes to the reverse light will, act will be just enough power to activate a cam filter, which is like the switch, like you turn your light switch on, 
and that will act as a switch, like a light little switch, which switch another circuit, which gives the power from your car battery to your reversing camera or your rear view camera, whatever it may be, because it needs a lot more power than the power at the reverse light has. Like I say, you can go and look at it up online if you want to. Now we're going to be looking at reversing cameras and rear view cameras. Now what's the difference? Now with this slide you can see on the left hand side we have a reverse camera image and on the right hand side we have a rear view camera image. And you'll see one is flipped and the other one is not. So you think, well which one's the right one? Now if you've got a reversing camera you'll see the image on the left hand side. If you've got a rear view camera you'll see the image on the right hand side. Now you're looking at your monitor so if you're looking at your monitor on your car, which is if you're the driver or a passenger, and you're looking at the monitor in front of you, this is what you'll be seeing on your screen. Now, as you'll see on the left-hand side image, we're going to focus on the reversing camera to start with. We're looking there. Now, if you're a driver, just think, what would be behind you would be this truck. And to the right hand side is obviously the car. So the car is going away from you because it's behind you, but this truck is following you. This is a reversing camera because what is on the left hand side of your video image is on the left hand side of your car. What's on your right hand side of this image is on the right hand side of the car. So if you turned your car to go left, you'd hit the um, truck. But if you turn the car to the right, you'll be hitting the car. This next image is a rear view camera image. Likewise, this is what you'd be seeing if you, if you turned around, not the car, but your head. You turned your head, looked over the back seat and looked out the rear window and had a look at what you're looking at behind you not on your monitor but you turn your head look behind your back seat so you're not facing forward you're not facing the front of the car you're looking behind you so you turn your head to your left turn your body around and have a look outside your rear window and you'll see this image obviously if you're looking outside your window once again, the truck driving behind you, and your, if you have your right hand and your left hand, not the car, we're looking at you. So what would be on your right, your right hand side of you? Not the car, your right hand. So on your right hand side, you would have the truck, which is following you. On your left hand, where you obviously, if you haven't wearing a watch, that side would be the car so that's a rear view because you are looking outside your rear window you're looking out out of the rear window and you see on your left hand side is the car passing you on the other side and on your right hand side looking at the rear window you would see the truck behind you now if you were to take a photo of that and then you held that photo in front of you that is what you'd be seeing. So now, when you go to sit in your front seat and you're looking at your monitor that's in front of you on your front seat, you put that photo in front of you where that monitor is, once again, what you'll be seeing is a rear view camera image. So when you were looking outside your rear window, the truck was on your right hand side so now that you're looking at your monitor in front of you, so you're now facing front in your car, you're sitting in your front seat, you're facing the road in front of you, you look down at your monitor and you see the truck is now on the right hand side because that is like you're looking as a rear view. Because when you looked out your window, the truck was on your right hand side and your vehicle was on your left and you took that photo and you put it on your on your on your screen so now you're seeing the truck on your right hand side 
and the car on your left. Now that is what you see on your monitor. Now the confusion happens is, you look outside and think, hang on, the truck is on the right hand side of the image, but it's actually on the left hand side of my car. And that car I see in the image on my screen is actually on the left hand side of the screen, but it's actually on the right hand side of my car. You may think, oh, the camera image is wrong. It's upside, it's the wrong way around. But this, remember, is a rear view camera, rear view camera image, as in when you were looking outside your window, when you were looking outside your window. So is that confusing? Let's look at that again, just to make it more simplified if we can. Reversing camera is when you're looking at your monitor, what is on the left hand side of your car is on the left hand side of the video image on your monitor. What is on the right hand side of your car is on the right hand side of the monitor. So if you're trying to line something up when you're going to reverse, like putting a tow, ball, a tow bar onto a trailer, if you want you go to slightly to the left or slightly to the right, you'll see to line it up. You go to the left, you go towards the truck, you go to your if you turn your car to the right, you look head towards the car, so you can line up if you wanted a tow ball into a um, into a trail or whatever. So this is a reversing camera. So what's on the left on the image is on the left hand side of the car. What is on the right hand side of the image is on the right hand side of the car. This is reversing camera, and this is a rear view. What is on the left hand side of the car is actually on the right hand side of the video image on your monitor. And what is on the right hand side of your car is on the left hand side of the video image on your monitor. It looks back to front, but remember this is a rear view. So when you look outside your rear window, when you turn your body around, look over the back seat, look over outside the rear window, You'll notice with your right hand, when you're looking outside your rear window, on the right hand, you'll see on the right hand side of your body, on the right hand, you'll see the truck. And on your left hand, where your left hand is, when you're looking outside the rear window, is where the car is. Your left hand being where your watch would normally wear. So that is a rear view. So when we look at them two side by side again, we can understand the difference between a reversing camera, and the, which is the one on the left hand side image, and a rear view camera, which is on the right hand side of the image there. I hope that makes sense, if you can understand that one. If you have any queries and not quite sure of that one, just replay the video and just take a bit of time. That comes to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions you have, anything you'd like to be clarified, just put in questions or... And look forward to seeing you on the next video.